Hey everyone, so this week's video will be quite different from what I normally do. Uh, instead of talking about what I can do and what I know, I'll be talking about myself. It's still about me, thank god. But it will get very personal and I will try to cover some thoughts that I have about what makes us human in some way, what creates our personality, if it's genetics or if it's the environment or family, uh, your friends, something big that happened in your life. And we'll see if we can get to the bottom of it by using myself and as an example. I'm James Allen Stewart, a photographer struggling to fit in. Just like millions of other people out there who are just trying to find their place, maybe some people have a bit of an easier job fitting in than others, and I definitely have had my difficulties. My problem is that people find me strange. People will call me eccentric, people will call me arrogant, and people will call me stupid, people will call me highly intelligent. Some will call me intense, some will call me laid back, some will call me a dreamer, always distracted and in my own head, which is very true. So how did I become these things? Was it like that from the beginning? Was I just born this way? Well, let's investigate. And in order to investigate, we're gonna have to go to the bottom of this from the beginning. I was born in Santa Rosa, California, way too early. I came out yellow with purple spots all over me. The cord was all around my neck, restraining oxygen to my brain. And I had to be rushed to this strange baby cube where they put almost dead babies. I don't know if you can guess it by now, but I survived. This could actually be an important detail for explaining who I am today. The doctor who received me later died from climbing Mount Everest. I don't know why I always thought of that. Some circle of life thing. As a baby I was already pretty strange. I was very floaty, kinda airy, as if I was seeing something that others weren't. Constantly looking everywhere, barely sensing when people and my mom spoke to me. I did appreciate my parents' love. I just also highly enjoyed everything that was going on around me. I wasn't exactly good with other babies because of this. And this whole pattern pretty much followed me throughout every stage of my life. When I was three, four years old, I tried playing the Super Nintendo. No one told me how to do it. So I ended up playing with the controller upside down. When I pressed right, my hero went left. I just accepted it and went with it. I also loved puzzles and would spend many hours solving them over and over again, doing it faster and faster. And dancing. I have a recording of me dancing in my diaper to the soundtrack of Cinderella while swinging around a plunger. Yeah, that happened. I'm gonna read something for you that my mom wrote about me when I was only six months old. And I think this is really interesting. Um, I'm gonna read it for you again when I'm done with this series and you kind of have a feeling of who I am. Because it's, it's quite striking. It's hard to distinguish between personality traits and regular de developmental behavior. But it seems that at the age of six months, James has shown some unique traits. He's a very active, but at the same time gentle child, wants to be where the action is. He has never enjoyed being in his crib for a very long time when awake. He seems very sociable, likes people, and being in the midst of things. Tries to get our attention often with his eyes mostly, and with noises. He enjoys his toys, but it's much more fun to go exploring. I will call it an insatiable curiosity. He seems to be able to take a great amount of stimulation at one time, and then it's hard for him to calm down, especially for naps. And his attention span is small in addition to distractible tendencies. When James plays, it's usually with more than one toy at a time, and onto something new in a matter of seconds. He has always been very alert, ever since birth, 
following everything and making plenty of noises in response. He doesn't like to be restricted in any way. As a newborn, he rejected swaddling after a short period. Everything new James goes at with gust and enthusiasm, and changes in schedule is easily adjusted to, and crying is stopped quickly by a good cuddle session. People have always commented on his face, how animated and completed it looks, how intense his gaze is, as if staring right through you. Yes, I think that is one key to James Allen's personality. Intensity. So, we're getting closer to finding out the mystery that is me. Oh shit. But you love it. But you love it. Next week we'll talk a bit more about my transferring to Denmark and my preschool with a lot of bullying and in general total chaos about trying to find my place in life. It went very wrong. Um, but yeah, stick around and I'll try to get the next video done for next week. Until next time.